and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cause Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone number three, guys. I'm happy to be here and I am happy you're here as well. We're working on a reused 20 by 20 canvas. Uh, this swipe was just kind of okay. Um, I would have liked a little bit more copper in it. I would have liked my line to be a little bit more... Uh, more better. <laughs> so, if I don't like it, after it dries, I wait a few weeks, I stare at it, and then decide, is it a keeper? And I decided that this is not a keeper, so we don't want to waste this expensive 20 by 20 gallery wrap canvas. Now, I've been painting in these yummy colors for a couple of days. I am addicted to them. I am also practicing and practicing my ring pours, traveling ring pours, uh, straight pours. I mean, it's just like when I learned the swipe. I practiced and I practiced. I tried different pouring mediums, different amounts of pouring mediums with different amounts of paints. You just need to practice and practice and find what works best for you. Um, and I've gone even thicker today or thicker, <laughs> as I like to say, with my paints. Our pouring medium today is Mix pour. Um, to get your mix pour, you email darling Krista at Krista8974 at gmail.com. It's the only email other than my own <laughs> that I know. Now, I'm not affiliated with mix pour, guys. If I tell you about it, it's because it works for me. Um, I won't tell you about anything. Um, that doesn't work for me or that I am not fond of. So mix pour, Krista8974 at gmail.com. Our colors, I am so digging on these colors. Let's talk about our base coat first. What's it called when you make bread and somebody makes bread and they save a piece of it? It's like a starter piece. Well, this is my starter slop bucket as I call it. These are leftover paints and I love this color. It's just a magnificent kind of bluey greeny Payne's gray and I never let it go all the way to the bottom so I can try to mimic it. And um, I did today, it's some golden turquoise, it's some artist loft black, it's a little bit of pearl, there's some silver in here and I just love this. Now, what I do is I did a painting, I'll post a picture that you all seem to really love and I really love too. A lot of people sold dolphins in this painting, but um, the base coat on it was absolutely gorgeous. And whenever I'm done with a painting, and I put it aside, I cover it up, up with my picnic netting is what it's called that I get from Amazon. I always save a tiny little bit of each of the paints, just in case it doesn't dry well, just in case I missed a spot on the sides. And what I do is at the dollar store, you get a big old plastic bag in these tiny little cups with lids on them. And um, I keep them near the painting until the painting is totally dry. In case I need to doctor something up, a bug walks across it or whatever happens, but I always keep these little containers close at hand and I stack them right next to the painting so I know which paints go with which painting. Let's talk about our colors today, they're yummy delicious goodness and I hope you're not tired of them because I sure am enjoying painting with them. And that yummy cup right there, I start off with my mix pour in my cup, excuse me, I start off with a squeeze of GAC 800 in the bottom of my cup and then I put my uh, about an ounce or so of my mix pour in there and I slowly start to add my paints. I started off with DecoArt Dazzling Metallics in the teal and mixed that up real good. And then I added a couple of drops of the golden fluid in the turquoise. And that's the yummy deliciousness that we have right there. 
This right here, everybody's favorite or most people's favorite, that is Deco Art Metallics and that is their 24 karat gold. I went online to order some today and they were out of the uh, eight ounce jars. They had them in the two ounce bottles, but I hate wasting all that plastic in those little bottles. Deco Art, send us some bigger bottles, please. Let's take a look at that consistency. It leaves a blob on a blob on a blob, thick paint. And you know what? You gotta practice. This girl is used to painting with thin paints, water thin paints, almost as thin as Dutch pour paints when I do my swipes. So it uh, was a bit of a challenge learning how to um, paint with thicker paints, but um, I'm really starting to dig on it, guys. This right here, yummy goodness, let's look at that blob on a blob on a blob. It's very thick, rich, and creamy, and that as well is a lot of people's favorite. That is Deco Art Satin Enamels in the pure white. Now, I put this in my cup after my GAC and my mix pour, and then gave it a good healthy squirt as well as Artist Loft of Artist Loft Soft Body in the white. Look at that. That's beautiful, guys. I wish you were here in this room with me <laughs> because I get excited. You can see it on my face, but that is yummy goodness right there as well. That is our GAC 800, our mix pour, and then I added a couple of squirts and only a couple squirts. You don't need much with these golden fluid paints of the keyword in the Nicolazo Gold. Stirred it up with my mix pour and my GAC 800 and then added a couple of drops of the golden iridescent copper. Um, until it came, I got it to the color that uh, made me smile. Right here, my Mac Mac paint, also yummy, yummy goodness. Now this is the only paint that I had to add any water to because these Arteza paints or this Arteza Bordeaux Red is very thick. So this got a couple of uh, squirts of water in it to get it down to the blob on a blob on a blob that we are looking for, guys. Base coat color is the slop bucket paint. Um, you will see me put this in a smaller cup. It's a lot easier for me to pour. It's actually our flood coat color. We are not putting a base coat down. So I'm going to put some tunes on. I am going to get busy layering my cup and hopefully we make a beautiful, beautiful painting together, guys. Hey, hope to see you at the Fluid Art Boutique this coming May uh, in the DC metro area. We have so many wonderful things planned for you guys. And so many of our students, as soon as a student uh, signs up, we get their name and their email address. And we, all four of us are dancing around because there are going to be some talented people there. Some wonderful students, some of which have a YouTube channel. Um, we're gonna have a blast guys come on down to dc and paint with the fab four i hope to see you there guys let's get busy so full of self-confidence and everything you said made a lot of sense I thought I was too cold to ever love again But every single word cut through the rain We see the distance grow I just need to know Do you even feel the same? I'm living in your messages
light up any room without going in Funny how just a few letters in a row Can turn into a smile and now you can let go Oh, oh, we see the distance grow I just need to know
place to move. 